Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Mean Stack Complete Live Project Development from Scratch. In the last few episodes, we learned how to set up our initial repos, the folders, the frameworks, and in the last episode, we created the models for the backend API. Today, we are going to set up the modules on the UI, which is the front end side, and we will load them as lazy modules because we want to improve the performance or, of our application. We will also use this opportunity to set up the routes and generate all the required components. Let's get started. This is part six of the mean stack complete live project development from scratch. This project is completely run by your support. So please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like the videos, please comment and share these tutorials with your friends and colleagues. Thank you in advance. All right, so today we are setting up the modules and the routing that is required for our application. All right, so what are we going to do? We are going to create all the modules for our application that features that we require. We will set up the routing mechanism and we will use the lazy, lazy loading module. Um, that is the command which we'll have to run in the Angular CLI. All right, uh, that being said, we'll also generate some components which are required for authentication like login, logout, forgot, etc. Let's get started. So I'm going to my loans UI uh, repo. So if you are not, if you are following along, you will know what the structure is. If not, please see the previous videos. All right. So first thing what we are going to do is I have this code I have just copied here. So we are going to generate a, a particular module which is called customers. And this is the command we'll run ng generate module customers. And we are saying add the route which is customers and update the module which is app.module right so that's the routing module we'll update so let's get started let's hit enter it will generate a module for us so you see we generated a module it has a default one single component and the same if you see the routing file you will see that it's updating our routes array as well so we got the customers loaded similarly we'll do for payments right and we'll add a route called payments, right? Payments, enter. Okay, so payments is generated. Similar way, let's generate for invoices. Invoices. Okay, so we'll generate all these modules because that's what we will work with. And then we will also need loans and we will need a module named loans enter so you see we got customers we got invoices we got loans we got payments last we'll also need settings right and let's add it here settings right so we got customers we got loans okay and then what we are going to need is not a lazy loading module right so we'll we are going to generate a module it will just be a authentication, right? So I'm just going to call it auth. This is where our login, logout, user, all those details will be there. So let's go to that rip, that module. And here I'm going to generate a component. I'm going to say new user, right? So this is for new user, right? This will, this component will hold the code for new user. Similarly, I will say, login and similarly i'm going to generate one more i'm going to call it forgot right and login logout right uh, and we are going to have one more component called logout all right so in our auth now if you see we generated four components forgot login logout and new user and we have the our uh, modules which are customers invoices let's see the routing right so i'm going to break this down to next line so that it's readable right and then we have the invoices payments settings all these are lazy loading modules which means they will only be loaded when they are requested so far so good right so we got all the modules that are required for our application so let's save this 
now we need one more thing uh, and what we are going to do is we are going to add a path right for login right and we are going to say component login component which is uh, imported from auth login right and similarly these are public right that means anybody should be able to access it that's why I'm not lazy loading them so here I will say register this will be new user component will say forgot password this will be forgot component and last but not the least um, login register forgot uh, right and we'll also need logout once the user logs out we will implement killing of session in this particular component right so take a look at our routing we got login we got register we got forgot password we got logout we got all the customers payments invoices components let's quickly test them out okay, so while it's building if you're liking the tutorial please do hit the like button please do subscribe this is going to be amazing application we'll try and make the best one available online this is the way first hand any application is done I'm trying to replicate and create it as close as possible for you alrighty so what we are going to do we are going to say slash customers and it says customers works that's fine let's say payments it says payments works then we are going to say invoices invoices works right so let's check login login works log out works right register new user works and then we have log out log out works settings so settings works right so if you see all of these links now in the sidebar we can update them so let's go to our sidebar dot HTML and update those links with the respective links we will also implement our auth card routes that we will do in little later but for now see I'm customers payments invoices and this is should be loan plans we have to generate one more for that reports uh, settings will generate them also and then you have loans right and we need a something called dashboard so we'll generate that component also now so let's close that here and I'm going to generate I'm going to come out in the app and here I'm going to generate ng generate component dashboard right so let's generate that component dashboard and add that in the routing right so dashboard I am not uh, loading it as a lazy loading module because it's just a component right uh, it's a standalone component that's why it's just a component similarly uh, we can have something called uh, we'll generate one lazy loading module for loan types right loan types and here it will be loan types right enter so here again we'll have one more so we should just see that added in our route here right and we'll need one more which is for the reports last one so please bear with me uh, when I do that <laughs> alright so reports so we got the reports also so we got all the lazy loading module for reports and last component that we need in the app is a 404 right so we are going to call it page not found so here I'm just generating a component and I'll call it page not found and I'm going to implement a wildcard character wildcard route what this will do is if you don't match any path right it should go to page not found component that's it so let's link our uh, sidebar and update the path we have the dashboard we have loans we have customers invoices loan plans or I think it's loan types and it's reports here and we got settings right and in the drop down right 
so this is our uh, sidebar now in the header similarly let's update and we need one more component for activity so we'll generate it as a lazy loading module and we'll say activity audit that's the route and we'll call it audit rip audit log right so we got one more component so now we will link them here settings we'll call it activity and we'll call it here log out right and in the routing we will just have to add route for audit log so here we are going to call it activity all right uh, perfect so we got our all the pages linked it's time to see the demo all right so all our routing mechanism is done uh, we have got all our routes in place we got all the modules in place now all our application should be linked that means all the navigation should work uh, perfectly fine so let's see that so now I click on loans so you see the route is going to loans now I go to to payments it goes to payments invoices loan types reports settings and dashboard and if you see settings if you see activity right so this is all working fine so all our routing link is done the pending work is uh, highlighting which link is active so that I'll probably cover it sometime next episode but for now all our lazy loading modules are generated our routing links are all in place and now it's time to build the next screens right for these respective feature modules right so in the next one we'll start with customers first we'll develop the crud api for the customers the backend and then we'll jump into the data table for customers uh, the idea is to make it look like this for customers and we'll implement all of this data type so we need apis for that so this is what we'll be doing after that but next episode we will do customers api which is crud right so stay tuned for that it's getting excited uh, the application is shaping up slowly step by step uh, rome was not built in a day so nor will our application be but slowly uh, learning is a progress right it's an everyday progress i hope you're learning every day something new you're learning firsthand how to build any application I hope you are enjoying if you are enjoying please do like this video please do subscribe to my channel also please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode